I'm Mike Hasse from NIU Athletic Communications, joined by the head volleyball coach here at NIU, Ray Gooden, as we recap this week's series split against Eastern Michigan. The Eagles won on Thursday night in four sets, and coach the Huskies won today in four sets. And I feel like that's a fair, that's a fair series. Eastern played well Thursday night, and today just an absolute thriller of a four set match if that's possible. Four sets decided by a combined seven points. Um, with every point as crucial as it was, um, you know, your team stepped up at points where Thursday night they may not have, and they came away with a big, huge home win today. Yeah, I mean, um, super excited to be able to get a split at home um, for us to defend our, our home court. Uh, you know, I think both teams are really con continuing to try to find ways how to win. Um, that's for sure true for our team and for our group to, you know, I think have a good second night for the first time this season um, and put ourselves in a spot where we can find success tonight was a really testament to the group and their commitment um, and their willingness to work together. And they got off to a good start. You led early in the first set and you hit a good number too. You hit 250, you held Eastern to 151. And even though the set was 25-23, it felt like you guys set, uh, got a lot of side outs early, took advantage of Eastern maybe not serving as aggressively and able to get some early quick points that way to start off the night. Yeah, I think both teams, Mike, were, were doing some good things. I think, you know, an improvement from last night's match where maybe it was a kind of back and forth and kind of helter-skelter where I thought both teams were making some clean plays. And, you know, and again, for our group, trying to find some tempo early, um, doing a good job with our service seat to start. Um, and getting contributions from different people in different places. I think that that really helps us out finding that balance. Uh, you talk about finding contributions from people in different places. You got caught in a couple of times uh, in the match tonight, digging down to those last couple substitutions and having to use your Swiss Army knives, Ella Mahasevich, all over the floor. She had a lot of crucial kills in the fourth set, ended the day with six kills, hit 462, also had 11 digs and had a big block in the fourth set as well. Yeah, I mean, we are very thankful for Ella. Um, you know, her versatility shows and continues to show. Um, she is willing to do whatever it takes for our team to find success. You know, normally a setter um, will pop in there when we need her to. Um, has done a good job on the right back spot, also with her serve. And then, you know, the last couple of matches popping in there to uh, with, with her swing. And and it's it's fun to watch just the the fun she has when she plays. I think it helps you know our team breathe a little bit easier. Um, knowing that she's going to go in there and just have a, you know, a, a pretty upbeat spirit and attitude about it. Uh, you know, your team showed a lot of heart, um, you know, not just in the first set, but they got down 14 to six in the second. You burned both your timeouts by that point, And they showed a lot of heart and fight. They come back and win it 28, 26. That may have been a set where, you know, maybe some other team thinks you're down eight early if Eastern gets up by double digits, maybe, you know, you live to fight another day. It's one, one going into the third, but they came back, they strung some points together. And once they got it to 24, 24, it felt like your, your side of the net had all the momentum. Yeah. And I, and I, and that's, again, that's just, you know, with our team right now, I think we're score watching a lot. Um, and, you know, sometimes you see the score and it's good, but you're never too far ahead or too far behind. And if we just continue to play the plays, you know, and, and I got to give a shout out here to, to like to Jasmine Kemp, who I thought, had a really good, did a really nice job, you know, taking advantage of our opportunity tonight, just playing plays. And, and when we needed to make a play, we, we did that. And I think that was a, a, a lot of fun to watch. Um, it, you know, for sure, it's a little crazy at times, but it, it was good to be able to be on the, on, the, on the positive side of it tonight. Yeah, Jasmine definitely added a spark to this offense. 15 kills after not playing at all Thursday night, hit 323, also had a team high five blocks. It's incredible watching your offense because it feels like when you can, you're setting your middles a lot and they're being very efficient, getting a lot of those crucial points like they did today. I mean, you hear me talk about the word balance. We talk about balance as much as we possibly can. We don't want to just, you know, attack on one side of the court. So we're able to find different people doing things, doing different things, um, especially with our middles, you know, making contributions. I think between our two middles tonight, we had 32 kills, I think, if that was the number. Yep. Um, you know, so, you know, that's almost half our kill number. Um, and that's and that's great because then it takes some of the stress off some of our left sides when they have to score those points big time at the end or throughout the, the you know, crucial points of the match. Um, but it was really just fun to watch those guys. Really fun to see Jasmine go out there and, have, and, and shine tonight. Uh, we 
coach, when we talk after all these matches, balance is something that comes a lot, but also just getting those kill points. It yeah, feels yeah. like early on in this season, your side was struggling to come up with some of those easy points and having to, you know, either get a lot of aces in a match or come up with a lot of blocks. You had a lot of blocks today. You had nine in the match and only one ace, which ironically came on the final point on match point and set four. But you did come up with, with the high percentage. You hit 254, which is the highest of the season, four players in double-digit kills. So it was spread around a lot. You know, Candy Wallace led the team with 17. As we already talked about, Jasmine Kemp's 15. But Cat Bell's another player that's really starting to put up some numbers at 12 kills today. And Kay Jablonski, while may have struggled a bit at times, may have had some heavy legs after playing a lot of points on Thursday night, still came up with 10 kills and 12 digs. So there's still a lot of pieces there that I think finally tonight put it all together in a win. Yeah, for sure. And again, like I talk, we talked about before about how our second nights have not been real strong. And I think with everybody, every team, you know, throughout the country going back to back and and COVID and everything and all these kids trying to do the best they possibly can. Um, are really happy with our group, just trying to go out there and fight. And it's easy just to kind of to give up and give in. But I, I thought our group, you know, really tried to rally around each other tonight. And, and again, they got excited for people tonight that it's not necessarily that don't get opportunities, but what they do to go out there and maximize it. Um, so that part was was really fun. And for us to, to have a high kill night, you know, that's the first time this year. And so hopefully, you know, again, that's the, that's the sign of things that come with our group moving forward. And then just to look at a bit to next week, it, you know, it was a tough interdivision series as they typically are. It was with Toledo here at Victory a couple weeks ago and here with Eastern Michigan this week. Now it's on the road to Ball State. It was first place in the division coming in this weekend. They were swept twice by Bowling Green, who I think is showing to be a little bit of the class of the MAC right now. They're still undefeated. Um, Ball State is a really good team. They, they seem to always have a lot of depth and a lot of key positions. Uh, what's your early outlook on the Cardinals hanging in next week? Well, the fact we can enjoy tonight, which is awesome. Um, and then, you know, like you said, Ball State has, I mean, they have players in every spot and, and they're all, and they're very, very deep. Um, I think the thing for Ball State is trying to figure out exactly what lineup they, they want to use to be okay. Um, you know, and they're going to be reeling a little bit after playing a, a, a hard series against BG. And we understand about, about BG because we saw them the first weekend and we were a play away from, 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 from winning that match. So what we're going to have to do is, is understand again, what, whether, what our strengths are or, or trying to, to be, um, and then do our best to be able to play with Ball State, play a long set, and hopefully be able to be advantageous when we when we can. All right, thanks coach. Congrats on the win today. Thanks Mike, appreciate it.